Nasi recommends that a complete series of two doses of the Pfizer-BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine can be offered to individuals 12 to 18 years of age who are eligible to receive the vaccine. Gen Z, next in line to get a COVID vaccine. While Manitoba is already booking appointments for COVID vaccines for teenagers, the new NACI recommendation now clears the way for the rest of Canada to do the same. The coming weeks and months hold great promise. Accelerated vaccine for throw rollout will return greater benefits if we maintain caution while allowing the vaccines time to build our protection. This is just the latest expansion in Pfizer eligibility. The vaccine was first authorized by Health Canada for those 16 and up before the agency added the 12 to 15 age group earlier this month. Manitoba saw a record high in vaccine bookings after opening up appointments for those 12 to 17 last week. But Ottawa says it's confident in the supply coming in. We'll receive 9 million doses of the Pfizer vaccine in June alone. That means that between now and at least the end of July, we'll continue to get over 2 million Pfizer doses a week. Meanwhile, Justin Trudeau hit back at opposition claims that a one-dose summer isn't good enough. This summer, once cases are low, and at least 75% of people have had one dose and 20% have had a second, you can look forward to outdoor things like a small get-together in a backyard, going hiking or sharing a meal on a patio. Previous public health models showed some restrictions could be relaxed with 75% of people vaccinated, and the PM now says a two-dose fall could look even better. This fall, once three-quarters of eligible Canadians are fully vaccinated, we'll be able to do more of the indoor things we miss, whether that's watching sports in person or a dinner party in a restaurant. That's what a one-dose summer and a two-dose fall could mean for you and your family. Meanwhile, the federal government announcing more spending for domestic vaccine production. Resilience Biotechnologies just outside of Toronto will get $200 million to help expand its facilities to produce mRNA doses. That facility expected to produce up to 640 million doses a year when it's up and running, but there's no estimate on when that might be. In Ottawa, Shao Li Lee, City News.